everyone. Welcome to the Storytime family. How are you today? Have you been reading lots? I hope you have. Well, today we have a very special book called Be Kind by Pat Zitlow Miller. What does being kind mean to you? Does being kind mean helping someone out when they need it? Or being kind can be being generous to your brother or your sister, sharing and caring for them, and just by being gentle and also being considerate. Well, let's find out what being kind means in this book and in this story. Be kind. Tanisha spilled grape juice yesterday. All over her new dress. Everyone laughed. I almost did too. But mom always tells me to be kind. So I tried. I don't think it worked. I said, Purple is my favorite color. I thought Tanisha would smile, but she ran into the hall instead. When she came back, snack time was over. She put on her art smock and didn't look at anyone. I almost told Tanisha that art was my favorite class, but I didn't want her to leave again. So I painted purple splotches and added some green until I had a bunch of beautiful violets. While I painted, I thought about Tanisha. Should I have handed her my napkin? Let her borrow my sweatshirt? Spilled my juice so everyone stared at me instead? What does it mean to be kind anyway? What does it mean to be kind to you? Or what does it mean for someone to be kind to you? Maybe it's giving, making cookies for Mr. Rinaldi who lives alone, letting someone with smaller feet have my too tight shoes. He might win races in them too. Maybe it's helping, putting dirty dishes in the sink, like helping out mommy clean up after yourself, picking up your laundry, making your bed, cleaning up after Otis, or class guinea pig, he's a messy eater. Maybe it's paying attention, telling Desmond I like his blue boots, asking the new girl to be my partner, listening to Aunt Franny's stories, even the ones I've heard before. Being kind could also be saying nice things about someone, complimenting someone, Telling your mom that she looks so pretty today. Picking her flowers. Being kind should be easy. Like throwing away a wrapper or recycling a bottle. Or saying, thank you, bless you. My mom says the quickest way to be kind is to use people's names. Hey Kayla, what's new Omar? Good afternoon, Rabbi Mandelbrook. Being kind can be hard too, even when you know what to do. Teaching someone something I'm good at is tricky, even when I'm patient. Being kind could be also sharing with your siblings and sticking up for someone when other kids aren't kind is really hard and really scary. Maybe I can't solve Tanisha's grape juice problem. Maybe all I can do is sit by her in art class and paint this picture for her because I know she likes purple too. Maybe I can only do small things, but my small things might join small things other people do. And together, 
they could grow into something big. Remember, kids, small things can make a big difference too. Something really big, so big that our kindness spilled out of our school, spread throughout town, travel across the country, and go all the way around the world. Wouldn't that be the best thing? If everyone is kind, the whole world would be a big bubble of kindness. Wouldn't that be cool? Right back to Tanisha and me, so we can be kind again and again. And again. Now, I told you that was a very special story, don't you think? So what does being kind mean to you? Leave us a comment and let us know. Hope you enjoyed the story. Come back and see us again and click on the notification bell for the next video. Thanks so much for dropping by. Take care now. Bye-bye.